In the last lecture, you learned the sixth way to increase your Twitter followers, and that was to use this poster boy formula, essentially giving a mini testimonial in a tweet, and that is going to give people a very good reason to retweet you. In this lecture, we're looking at the seventh way to increase your Twitter followers, and that's to join a trending conversation. This is always a no-brainer, yet seldom executed. It's also a very effective way to deepen the connection with existing followers and generate new followers. So all you need to do is really reply or get involved in trending conversations. You can use Twitter advanced search to look for hashtag topics or jump in on the conversation. So in Twitter, you can search for people uh, talking about these trending topics here, especially if there's a lot of big tweets with a lot of people on them you can uh, put your reply there and get a lot of exposure. And what you can also do is search for particular hashtags and jump in on the conversation. I found it a fantastic um, uh, example of this, which is fully documented. So I think this is probably the best way to uh, highlight this to you. Not only a trending conversation, but really dropping in on conversations and acquiring new customers. So I'm linking off to this article here, my Max. I uh, came across this, I think he shared it in a group, and uh, I was pretty impressed by the way that he really used Twitter search to get new customers. So what he did was he came in to Twitter and searched for phrases, people saying, I need a personal website. So essentially what he did was come in here, come into Twitter forward slash search, and uh, he just typed in this, I need a personal website. And what he would have got is a big list of people uh, mentioning tweets like this. And then what he did was he, he also searched for I need a portfolio, things like that. And then he essentially just responded to these people. So he looked for the appropriate tweets and then he just clicked reply and then he um, really common to them, gave them some advice and suggested his business. So you should check out this. Let me know if you have any questions. So I'm looking for a personal website and then he's suggesting this from his personal account as well. So this is a very powerful way to really help people out. You're just dropping in on a public conversation. And I don't think that's, uh, you know, that's fine because the conversations are all public here. So that is one great strategy. And I think he has some great examples here. And also he said he searched for his competitors like Squarespace, Wix, Weebly, and uh, filtered for negative sentiment. So let me show you how to do this. You just really take, I'll go back to Twitter search here and go into advanced search. So I'm gonna take uh, this here. Then you can filter for negative sentiment. And I'm going to search here now. So uh, you can see a negative face here. So maybe these aren't 100% accurate, but it's a really way to filter these tweets and to look for the ones where people weren't happy with a competitor service. And then once again, he just mentions his um, his business here and says, you know, it's much easier or maybe why it is different. So you can see he did that a number of times, and I think he got great, great results. Um, I think he said he got his first 100 or 1,000 customers just doing uh, Twitter that way. It's all linked up there if you want to read it in more detail, but I think that is a fantastic example of somebody really using Twitter search to their advantage. So I've included that example there for you to read. You can also do it not only for uh, topics, but using those trending conversations, uh, especially if some of your influencers are talking about that involved in a conversation, that's a way to do it. So that is the seventh way to increase your Twitter followers to join a trending conversation. And in the next lecture, we're going to look at the eighth strategy, which is really to ask questions. This is a great way to use Twitter. And also I've got a big list of tips here, which I'm going to show you as well.